Hi everyone, it's SK95. For my new Let's Play of the channel that I haven't touched. A game that I haven't done in over 10 years. And I felt it was fitting to bring it back. This game is the first time Sonic ever went into 3D. And the first time that there was multiple playable characters for Sonic in 3D. This is Sonic Adventure. This game is definitely one of the hallmarks of the game series, and Sonic's bigger, chaotic adventure in the beginning. Multiple characters, multiple gameplay styles, multiple fun, and an action-packed story all around. Impact soundtrack as well. Open your heart, and this is also the first time Crush 40 was ever used for Sonic games, and it made a hallmark of its series. How this game's gonna work is where every time a character is unlocked, I will not be covering the stories in those ways. Once I do one story, I complete it all the way through until the next one, and then so on and so forth. However, it goes in the order based on the story is shown. I will also be covering all the bonus content of this game, as well as everything else. And now, let's get started. Sonic Adventure. Cloud data. There we go. Very, very good. Select a file. New file, please. Thank you. Adventure trial. Select Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's get him. All right, let's get going. Ah, Majestic Station Square. It is definitely the humans. No, I can't. I can't take it seriously. The humans definitely feel out of place in the Sonic series in Adventure One. Unleashed definitely had the right idea going forward. Design. Oh yeah! This is happening. Chaos Zero, the first boss of the game. I didn't intentionally mean to cause the camera clipping. Nope. Come on, Chaos, get down from there. We don't need you to play this little game with me. Come on, buddy. There we go. Slam. Goodbye, Chaos. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Alright, good. Got a lot of rings and everything else. Alright. Come on, you big drip. Where are you going?
You know nothing, fool. It's Chaos, the god of destruction. <laughs> ah, nice relaxing beach vacation. So good for Sonic, finally. Huh? What? Tails? Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! Tails? Ah, what am I gonna do with you? I don't know. What would you do with him? To be fair, though, I don't think that's his fault. It kind of went out of control on its own. Alright, first stage of the game. Emerald Coast, a fan favorite. Rescue Tails. Been dashed by pressing the action button, and pressing the A button will give you a homing attack. I'm playing this game on the Xbox S. So, yeah, it's pretty much how it works. Spin dash in this game is actually very, very busted and usable. So, you could actually just spam it. So, like this. Wow, Billy! I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, also a big <laughs> thing that you can do as well. Press the B button in midair while you're in your ball form and Sonic actually gets out of it, but loses all forward momentum. It is quite worrying if you do it wrong. Right, as soon as you bounce while you're trying to spin dash, he will not catch your spin dash. Whee! Whale! Every killer whale! This is the first time he was being chased by a killer whale. Second time happened in a certain game that's been thrown to cause a fan base crying and sadness. Yeah, I believe y'all y'all know what the thing is. There we go, one up. I mean extra life. I forgot this ain't Mario, I can just say normal extra lives. Hooray! Hooray! You hooray! We're all the way top. Spinesh! The lighthouse. And to this cave. With a nice transition. Quite quick transition for the time. This game originally released on the Dreamcast, and it's quite a fan favorite, myself included. Alright, get down here. Wee hoo! We already have eight lives. That is crazily quick. However, lives only carry over per character, so if you have lives in this character, you can't give their lives to the characters! I'm okay. That was completely unintentional. I was not actually trying to do that, but it's hilarious none the same. Alright, so let's get past these spikes. And definitely a relaxing soundtrack, I'll say right now. Adventure has a lot of great soundtracks and sound designs that fit the areas. Yes! Alright, save Tails finally. Wonder why he crashed. We'll find out why he crashed in just a second. Score doesn't really matter in this game all that much. Because this yeah, is before the level system of where there's ranks involved and etc. Likely not the case. Hey Sonic! Long time no see, huh? I'm just glad you're okay. What happened anyway? You're too good of a pilot to just crash like that. That was a test run using a new prototype propulsion system. It's got a few bugs to iron out. Why not just use my plane, the Tornado? Thanks, but you gotta check out my newest power supply. Ta-da! Whoa! A Chaos Emerald! Yep, I just happened to find one of the Southern Emeralds during one of my test flights. This thing's got unlimited power, you know. So I figured, why not use it to power my plane? Supercharged! You gotta come over to my workshop, Sonic. I've got something I've gotta show you. It's in the Mystic Ruin. The fastest way is by train. Let's go! Well, we're going to Tails, and also you can now play as him. Tails essentially is Sonic's little buddy from Sonic 2. So, yeah, nothing much changes with that. I believe his voice actor is actually a female due to how to need to voice act the train younger the characters requires a female actor because they can't sound like they, bleh, they can sound like a kid. 
So, essentially, we're already at the Mystic Ruins, thankfully. All right, let's go over this way and take a shortcut all the way to the Tales of the Lab. So... <laughs> if it isn't Sonic! Look, it's a giant talking egg. Silence. I am Dr. Robotnik, the greatest scientific genius in the world. Whatever you say, Eggman. Enough! I've got big plans. And now, I'm gonna put them to work. You're always up to no good. Now what do you want? I want all of the Chaos Emeralds. Better not interfere, or else! Or else what, you big loser? Or else I'll take them from you by force! The hard way! Was there supposed to be an easy way? I would like that. Though there is an easy way for this boss fight, though. I'll say Eggman definitely has some great themes going on right now. Anyway... The first 3D Eggman boss of the game, Egg Hornet, essentially like a bee. It'll buzz around a lot. I can't help it. Oh boy. However, there are two ways you can go about this fight. You can do it normally, or you can do the fun way. Like this. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much kind of caves in Eggman fights quickly. Hey, I'll play with you. So yeah, that's pretty much how it turns into. It really helps how easy that fight is, but it's also the fact that the fight itself is no brainer. Well, that wasn't so hard. Aha! Oh no! That is probably the weirdest claw arm I've seen. Come on, Chaos. Time to eat! Chaos? Oh no, isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? It's just as the stone tablets predicted. <laughs> His strength increases every time I see him at Chaos Emerald. With all seven emeralds in him, he'll be invincible and work for me. Together, we'll destroy Station Square. And on its ruins, I'll build Robotnik Land, the ultimate city where I will rule it all. Come on, Chaos! Let's find another emerald, shall we? Sonic! We can't let him get away with this, can we? No way, Tails! Without more emeralds, the monster can't transform! So, it's up to us to get the emeralds before Eggman does, huh? Yep, Eggman kind of took our emerald. How sad. Tails had to get a better grip on that. All right, there's two things we can do here. First, we can go to Tails' left, but there's also that something over there. Jump with a dash jump with containing another emblem. In this game, emblems are a requirement to complete the game. Get all the emerald, emerald, bleh. Get all the emblems in the game, and there's a bonus that reward added. We're in Tails' workshop right now. Sadly, there's not much you can do in there. So let's go and grab this little device, the windstone. It looks like a key. This design must mean something. Let's just jump down. Unfortunately, you, when carrying something, lose the ability to spin dash. So you might as well just take it and bring it to this wind tunnel. Yeah, here we go. The key is floating. No duh, it's floating. I thought it was hovering. <laughs> All right, we're in Windy Valley, another fan favorite stage. And it actually has two different forms. On screen right now, the editor is already showing what the original beta version was going to be. Alright, so get this one. This is a magnet shield. Unlike in 2D games, it doesn't give you an extra jump, but instead just carries all the rings toward you. Alright, woohoo! Running on air! Honestly, speaking of surprise, the stage never came back. It's actually quite fun. Really, the idea of using wind as a way of moving around is quite a unique design. I actually think it fits Sonic a lot more. 
Oh my. There we go. Got the light. We. I didn't mean to do that. Why? I'm okay. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. The tornado section is quite funny to try to do that. All right, let's jump on these and jump to the next panels by pressing the jump button. Bounce on this quickly, and and uh, we we go. There we go. Bounce, 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 bounce. Unironically enough, I don't think this is how tornadoes work, but I think it's fine. And now we're at the end of this area. Now we can get to another area. Tails is flying behind us. Yep, in every after meeting Tails, Tails will fly behind us in every action stage. So, oh, excuse me. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't get past him. Surprise, but I shouldn't break through it. You'd think it'd work like that. All right, whatever. Unfortunately, there's a trend of this game that dash panels increase on speed, and unfortunately, it makes them long line up way right better. All right, so let's just go get this. Thankfully speaking, automation is something that only for spreading out or increasing speed. Oh boy, did not need to do that. <laughs> that was a little funny. All right, whatever. Let's ride this wind, and here we go. Check this side. Homing attack dash. Come up here. There we go. Jump on that. All right, whatever. Oh, excuse me. Man, if this was Sonic Adventure 2, I would have already grabbed the ledge. Event the only difference is this game and how it works is that if you're familiar with SA2, Sonic does not have the ability to grab ledges or nearly trip off them. He still runs how he would like in the 2D game. He essentially is like a way of mirroring both the 2D and 3D. Finesse allows you to go down hills much faster than running. However, Sonic can also use it as a way of moving forward. And we're going down this long way. Spin round. Though a noticeable trend I've noticed that this game has, that it doesn't have a break with, is that you're in basically nowhere. Whoa, 40! That was yes. great. That's quite rare. It goes with the 50, but that's quite rare to get. Yeah, Alright, completed bad. level C. Number three! Already collected. Nice. The Mystic Ruins is done? The for now. Square, so let's head over to soon. back to Station Square. Whee! Alright. This game is definitely one of my childhood favorites, though. I'm gonna explain it right now. This game is probably the, one of the first games I've had in the beginning of the series. I had it on the original GameCube with DX, and I only just upgraded this game to its DX edition. So, there's differences in Salt. The next area we have to go to is... Going this way. Excuse me. I cannot go that way. Oh, right, I forgot. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little ahead of myself right now. I have mental brain fart. Oh, brain damage. What, what is the brain damage happening to me now? I guess I've rolled into too many walls. Go down this hill right down here. Then down the hole. Alright, jump up here. Get this. Now you've got light speed shoes. Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. Alright, so like that orb of light told us, light speed dash works differently in this game. Light speed dash works by charging instead of pressing the B button normally. So, if you played Adventure 2, it's going to be a bit jarring when you first do it. So, yeah, it's pretty much the case. Oh, we don't. So, next we'll go over to the back to the hotel. Because that's actually the thing we need to go to. Let's be dash, however, is a big downside. Look, if you based on how long it charges, based on the, what's on the screen right now, it takes quite a while to fully charge. And the dash is not quite that big. Go up these stairs. You would think this would lead to, say, the hotel rooms. Push the switch. Alright, go through here. Here we go, made it. And this is you see on Sonic a lot. We have Adventure Sonic. This is the Crystal Ring. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. Yep, like this orb of light said, it lowers the amount of time it takes. So, it takes about three more seconds off of it, so you don't have to worry about losing it. Although I will admit, a cool effect it does is the fact that it light speed dash still keeps its aura around Sonic, which I find pretty cool. 
Although it's quite weird how time immediately goes back to where it's the already dark. For the Mystic Whatever the case may be. Let's just sort of like we dash, press the switch, and then go up to another area in the game. Casinoopolis. If you're familiar with gambling zones in other games, this is one of them. So, the one we have to go to is this one. We can go into multiple pinball parties. This is a Knight's Pinball. Knight's essentially means match the cards to get more ranks. Matching two cards gives you ten. Matching more gives you more. Essentially speaking, you want to make sure you can match these... Bleh, match these as much as possible. You can shake the screen in order actual pinball table in order to move Sonic around left or right depending on what you need. However, this is not exactly the recommended pinball you want to go to. And unfortunately for me, it's not exactly the best one. The best one is a different pinball area. And unfortunately, the matching the cards thing is quite tricky. So, yeah, pretty much. There we go, got another one. You can time it to where it's appropriate, but you're going to spend a lot of time here, and the score is going to be gosh awful. Excuse me, you get that, and you get 20. Not really that much. Really, it's, this is not exactly a pointful area you want to be at. It's actually pretty much the worst area you can be at right now. If you don't get any out of five, it's going to give you a fail. So... Let's get out of this, because I don't want to be here, and honestly speaking, it's not exactly much. The only benefit you get if you manage to go through that ramp is a huger selection of, say, cards, which can give you more combos, and etc. It's not exactly the best place to get all the ranks you need. Because while this area is decently rank happy, if you fail it, you drop down here. This is a garbage chute where losers are sent. By pressing the B button to grab the dash over, you can get there quickly. Now let's go over here and make it just to go on this garbage upward. I guess these are fans that are used to store and get rid of garbage. I don't know. I don't know how they work. Where did those animals come from? Alright. So this is essentially dashing to get more rings. You actually get more rings here than you do get in that old uh, nice pinball. It's not exactly recommended to do nice pinball, honestly. I'd recommend a different one as soon as we get to it. Alright, so this way, this way, jump this. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Alright, getting more rings. You can't actually just go back out and then fall down straight down, because the Sonics will actually eventually fall down. If the wind doesn't hit them. Excuse me. I, I was trying to fall down, but apparently the game says no. Alright, whatever. The only downside is, if you have so many rings, it's going to mean that if you get hit, every single one of those rings fall out. So you want to keep watch of where these spike balls are. Because if you get hit by them at all, you lose everything. Alright, jump here. Sonic, please. Thank you. And unfortunately, we can't really do much when Sonic's like this. Alright, 300 rings. That's a lot of rings already. We got quite a bit, all things considered, and we have another light speed dash area. Fully charge this light speed dash. Very good. Excellent. Dash. We got a utility and a shield. Let's climb up. Unfortunately, we can't exactly trick these climbs because Sonic can't move that fast. So, this is a shower room. You can go into a shower and Sonic gets a unique animation. However, the main gimmick of this entire stage is going over here. This is a vault that you need to drop off your rings. The entire vault can soar up to 999 rings. However, the requirement to get is 400 rings, because you got to go past the invisible wall. Once you reach the invisible wall, you get enough rings. The area I was recommending that you should do is Sonic Pinball. It represents all the older classic Sonic Pinball games that you probably see from Casino Zone, and other games like Sonic 2 and 3. You want to make sure your pinball skills are put to the test. So you want to aim at... There we go! Not that. That's actually worse. Final Eggman knocks out all your rings and blocks it off. Yep. Uh... Alright, we cancelled it out. 
No, we didn't. Excuse me, I'd like to go past that. You can basically... It basically goes opposite way. Rings, rings, rings. Nothing. Unfortunately, this means you also can't get more rings. It's because you got Final Eggman. And Final Eggman is pretty much the worst thing you can get. Alas, there's a lot of bonuses you can get from this, but you can't really do much until Eggman runs out. We're getting a lot of Tails TK, but we can't do anything. Fortunately for us, we're getting closer to the ring amount. If you don't get 100 rings in a certain period of time, you can't exactly get past it. Shining K. Quite good, because Shining K lets you hit a spring area, which gives you to another area. Unfortunately, oh wait, oh, I was hoping you made Oh, we almost got triple sonic. Essentially speaking, you want to press that button. That's what Shining K is telling us to go to. Unfortunately, we're timing it where we're missing it a lot. Oh shoot, oh boy. Thankfully speaking, it doesn't run out of time. Once you reach over 100 rings, you don't ever go in that garbage chute, so you don't have to worry about it. So can I get out, please? We have 102. This is actually a very good area to rapidly store on lives. If you ever need more lives in the game, just go to this area and the game will give you a bunch. Whoa, boy! Sonic, where are you going? Oh, I did not mean to do that, but honestly speaking, we don't actually have to worry about it too much. Unfortunately, the bonuses do not exactly happen unless you get multiple at the same time. Sonic is technically the best you can get. Whoa. Rings give you Ring 3K. Essentially speaking, you want to go through the rings that are on the side. Unfortunately, the timing on that is very, very dubious. And unfortunately, it does not run out until you run out of it. The amount of rings you can get in this area go up to an exponential amount. Oh wait, we're out of this. Alright, we're finally out of it, thankfully. There are other things you can go inside, but honestly speaking, those are just one-ups and extra coin rings. I almost said coins. I almost thought we were Mario-ing. Yay. Alright, we got the Chaos Emerald. Yes. yes. Alright, so we got that Chaos Emerald, and now I have to worry about this area ever again. Unfortunately, that time bonus falls apart as a yeah, result. Thankfully, bad. ranks don't exist in this game, like I said before, so pretty much no-brainer. Ah, yes. Late-night gambling. Yeah! Hey! Oh no, the Chaos Emerald! Oh no, you don't! Oh, jeez! <laughs> Amen. Oh, man! What happened to that emerald we just had? Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them. But the other one's safe. That guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one, and that's not good. Come on, Sonic! We need to get busy! Yep, alright, so... We need to get to that uh, Chaos Emerald Jack, but unfortunately, I doubt that he's gonna let that Emerald stay free for long. Unfortunately, Eggman is going to probably just give it to the Chaos and Slay, for the Mystic Ruins will be which is both soon. sad and depressing. However, this ice statue is quite important, so let's head up. We're in the train. Choo-choo! Mystic Ruin again. You know, how does that work? I, I, I've always questioned that as a kid, but why did it explode now and not later? That makes zero sense. I don't know. Sonic series make no sense certain times. 
Then again, he's a cartoon hedgehog that went into space multiple times. Oh, and also has a super form that resembles a uh, certain Saiyan, but we'll get on to that in some other way. That's actually a target point. That game has a lot of, like, fan service towards other series. A lot of people take inspiration from other things. It's quite cosmetic. And not exactly all that bad. If that were the case, then people would criticize everything else that happens. Alright, however, I think we're going to end this off right here. So next time on Sonic Adventure, we're going to be heading on to get more Chaos Emeralds and trying to stop Eggman. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Sonic. Bye.